Hey y'all, after a couple week hiatus, we are back with weekly reflections and insights. Today, wrapping up the fitness pyramid, discussing functional mobility and movement, as well as basic and advanced strength training. And functional mobility and movement, these are the daily moves you need to get through life. Stand, reach, bend, twist. Now I'm sitting down, and a lot of us do this a lot during the day. And this is why I'm such a big proponent of yoga. Sitting shortens our hip flexors. Probably gonna get weaker glutes, weaker core. You're rounding at the shoulders. Posture's not so great. We need those shoulders up and back. You'll see me rounding probably throughout this video. But yoga is gonna help us with those basic movements for life. It allows us to move in all three planes. It helps us balance left and right side. And it's very scalable whether you need basic mobility or you're looking to really challenge yourself. Yoga can, in some ways, be used as a strength building or a resistance building domain, but generally not. And for the reason, yoga lacks a pull component. We can't train the posterior chain very effectively through yoga. This is why we need strength training, among other reasons. The basic stuff we're going through life, that is pure maintenance, that is pure foundation. Walking around, great. Bend, lift, twist, great. But for longevity, to thrive, to hit those fitness goals that you have in mind, whatever they might be, we've got to add at least basic strength training. Advanced strength training, that's just the level beyond that. When you get that bug to pursue a competition, step on stage, triathlon, marathon, weekend warrior, whatever it might be, I hope you aspire to get to that stage. And when you're ready, let's train there together. That'll be fun as hell. But basic strength training. We're talking about two to three times per week resistance training, weights. It doesn't have to be heavy, but a little struggle. Resistance training, two to three times per week. And the benefits on the other side of this are improved body composition, less body fat, more lean mass. Bone density, very important, especially for the older population and doubly so for women who are more prone to osteoporosis. Better sleep, so win-win train, sleep better, recover better, all of the above. Again, two to three times per week, and you're gonna hear terms like undulating periodization, training intensity, rest intensity, training blocks, 12 to 16 weeks, progressive overload, how we add the weight. And these are all very simple techniques that any really halfway decent trainer should be incorporating and should probably be teaching you, in addition to good form which takes us back to that functional mobility and movement, proper squat technique, proper hip hinge technique, proper push and pull mechanics, balance and rotational components. Trainers need to be evaluating and assessing these things and adding in training modalities that help address imbalances and shore up weak links in the kinetic chain, whatever those might be. But it all starts with good form, good mobility, good mechanics. After that, it's up to you. Pilates, plyometrics, weight training. One of my favorites, kettlebells. I'll leave a link to an instructional video in the comments, kettlebells with Pavel, one of the best for how to learn the kettlebell apparatus. But closing out the fitness pyramid, 80-20. That's our rule of thumb. We talked about it in the lifestyle video. Same thing goes for mobility and strength training. Two to three times per week, two to three times per week cardio. Five to six days per week training, five out of seven, boom, you're at 80%. Get rid of the no days off mentality. That's a bad, bad routine. It's not gonna leave you anywhere but exhausted, burnt out, probably injured. And finally, if you're working with a trainer that's not coaching you on form, find a new trainer. I've been in and out of gyms for 30 years. I've worked with beginning trainers. I've worked with Olympic level trainers. And the great ones all have one thing in common. They are meticulous with their form and they are incredibly focused and intentional in their training. They're not worried about distractions. They're not worried about how many likes is this gonna get or what new exercise can I try to incorporate? They're sticking with the fundamentals. They're using great technique and great form and they're working with a high degree of intensity and efficiency. That's what sets the greats apart. They are at the level because they've mastered the fundamentals and use that platform to graduate into that advanced strength training domain. So when you're ready to get there, I'd love to train with you. Otherwise, 
Questions, comments, feedback, diet and lifestyle, functional mobility and movement, or basic strength training, I'd love to hear from you and help get you on a path towards your fitness goals. That's it for today. Have a great rest of your week.